All right, guys, we're back on the porch. Long time no see, I guess, since I made a video out here. But I want to talk to you guys about something that is super important. If you want to keep your mental game strong and stay focused on your task. And it's also, if you watch through the whole video, I'll give you guys a conversational tip at the end. Back to the old social game. I don't watch the news at all, basically. And I haven't for most of my, you know, adult life. Uh, even in the military, as a soldier, you know, I'd hear stuff about, oh, this, oh, this, oh, they, they did this in the news, and oh, well, we're going to war now because of all this. I would be like, what? What's going on? Because I don't surround myself with all this negativity. There's always, like, negative things, they sell so much better. That's why, you know, they promote this. Because it festers on your mind, and you think about it, it's, it's, it, you know, it's such an infection in your mind. And then they have your attention, like Dan Co would say, time under attention. So they have your attention even when you're not watching it. You keep thinking of the bad stuff you just heard about or read about on news. And it does so much for you when you stop, you know, watching or looking at or reading the news. Because think of it this way. Think of it this way, okay? When I eat food, you know, everyone knows this. You should eat good food, healthy food that gives your body the right nutrients so your body can operate and function at a, uh, the best level possible. And just like you wouldn't consume that bad food for your body, why are you consuming bad information? Stuff that just hurts to watch and listen to. Why are you doing that? There's no reason to do that. And you always have this argument of, oh, I want to be staying informed and etc. Listen, I don't have a problem with being informed. Like, my life functions just as well, not knowing what, who did this and who did that all the time, what war is going on, what happened in, in any war. My life is functioning really well. You have to be a bit egotistical about it because I preach this all the time, simplicity, simplicity. There's not much going on. I like to live in a bubble and it makes actions go like that. I sleep well at night perform well in the gym and so you don't need this stuff and once you start removing it you'll, you'll easily find out that oh well a lot of the negative negative thoughts that I had they all stem from me just watching and reading mindless news about something that happening in another country some people the sensitive ones might say well Nico you should really care about this stuff Oh, people are dying people are doing that even if I care that wouldn't change anything. I'm not that important. And it's, so in one way, it's kind of pretentious and kind of arrogant to go around and, and, and think that you're so special and can you, you know, do stuff about this. I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. If I could, I would instantly. That's just straight facts. I'm here in Thailand and that is going on many, many million, billion, gazillion miles away. So when it comes to the point of caring, I reserve my caring for the people I really care about and for the things I really care about. You see, when people say, oh, I don't care about, you don't care about this, you don't care about that, I don't know. And you don't either. You don't really care about it. You, you try to show empathy for it, in a way. It's not caring, because caring to me, it means something. It has power. So when people, close friends come to me and say, you know, they need me to care with them or for them with whatever they're saying, maybe they have an issue, and I, I actually sit down, I take my time, I listen, I try to help them solve the problem. That is caring. That is caring. And so it kind of loses the meaning if you try to just make it as widespread as possible through thinking of all the horrible things that go, you know, goes on in this world because you're not actually caring. You're just trying to show empathy. Maybe it's for yourself to try and prove yourself that you're somehow a better human or something. Or maybe you're even worse trying to prove it to someone else by talking about this stuff, but you don't actually really care. Try and limit the news you watch and you'll soon find out that it's not actually that important to know this stuff. But I want to give you guys a conversational tip. Let's say I don't watch the news, which I don't. Then I can go to people who probably watch the news and I can ask them what's going on in the world or some question like that. What's going on? Oh, what's, what's the news these days? 
and you start sparking conversation like that. Maybe they'll tell you about the subject or oh, this thing happened in this blah, blah, blah country. And then you can you bounce off, you can start you know, engaging in small talk like that. This thing happened, oh wow, why is that? You can take it, you know, the conversation. You can, that's a good way to start a conversation, for example. Depends on the subject though. You can try that, see how it works. Works well for me. I did a lot in the military. People was coming, uh, st standing around talking, was like, what's going on? Yeah, what's that about? And they start to explain and, you know, ba 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 ba. Simple like that. I do follow some stuff though. It's not like I'm completely out of it. But, you know, some headlines pop up here and there. And Trump says his funny shit. I like to watch that. That's quite cool, actually. But it's more like comedy rather than news. So it has a positive vibe to it, I guess. <laughs> Guys are savage. But anyways, you heard it here first. Take care and God bless. Boom.